the last chapter on spiritual sex. That's the best type of sex as far as I'm concerned. And that's the T-bone steak as compared to, compared to like casual sex, which is, which is McDonald's, which is still fun sometimes. Okay. You still want McDonald's, but that is totally different. It's so much better and makes you so much happier. Whereas you can have all the girls in the world that you want in the world. It's fun for a year or two when you're starting to become a player and you're, you're testing your power and you're just getting used to it and you feel good about yourself, but it gets boring really quickly, especially as you get older and each ejaculation takes more time and more uh, energy out of you and drains your battery, battery even stronger. Okay. And so basically this saved when I was living with my ex-girlfriend when I was 30, which is six years ago, I was going crazy because I had basically spent my entire twenties as a player, you know, a few short relationships in there, but mostly just casual stuff or like, uh, the multiple long-term relationships where I'm seeing like two or three girls, you know, over long periods, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not monogamous for very long. So now I fell in love living with a girl in this apartment and I'm going crazy. I mean, I'm in yoga class, these girls bending over in these see-through yoga pants and I feel like a fucking crack addict. Okay. I feel like I like sex with another girl would be like, it's like, it's like a crack that I'm, that I need. And the, the way that I'm dealing with that is like my girlfriend's falling asleep at night. We're still having sex, but then I'm going into the, into the living room to jerk off to porn so that I can fall asleep. Okay, this is prior to having understood ejaculation, having got it under control. So I'm going to jerk off to porn every night to, you know, on top of the sex I already had with my girlfriend that day because I'm going crazy trying to keep being monogamous, okay? Which is why most players cheat in relationships because it's so hard to do when you when you know you have other options. It wasn't until I figured this, this stuff out and started practicing the carezza with her and the ejaculation control not only did I not need to fuck or to think about fucking other women, but our sex got so good. Like she was already into very sensitive, like um, deeply bonded and, and, and soft stuff. You know, she didn't have much of a tolerance for the rough stuff. And it, 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 it was incredible. Some of the best sex that I ever had. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't save our relationship, but that was because we had other problems. She was just not compatible with me for a number of reasons, which I covered in other videos, but that, that solved that area. And so I, I knew then that moving forward, any long-term relationship I'm going to have, is going to have to be no ejaculation on my end. Um, no orgasms on both her ends and a girl who's actually interested in, in having spiritual sex, because otherwise I know that I would have no chance, no chance at, at, at maintaining a long-term relationship without cheating or without the dead bedroom thing happening to both of us and, and that leading to resentment. Um, so the, the dead bedroom, it, the, the Coretta hack is not a guarantee that it, it will make your relationship work. Like you could have other relationship problems that, 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 that can't solve it. It's not also not a guarantee that your girl will want to do that. She might be totally off sex. Okay. And she won't even listen to you. And she basically, you know, doesn't care that you're effectively celibate. She still won't engage in that conversation, which is a fucking big problem if she won't even be willing to talk about it. But for many people, many relationships, the Coretta thing will save it. Okay. Which is a huge thing. And it's a huge thing. If you want to be monogamous in the future, if you're thinking about it, it's very important to understand this stuff. Very important. Um, because without Coretta, you're going to get bored of fucking each other over time. I don't care what anyone says. People are married long enough. They're together long enough. They're bored of fucking each other. Married people don't have sex when they've been married for a long time. At least not with each other. <laughs> there, you know, there's a rare few who maybe like 30 years in, they're still having sex once or twice a week. But those are the exception, not the rule. The rule is closer to like they have sex on special holidays or some shit, or she gives him a blowjob on his birthday. You know, that's, that's more common because people aren't supposed to be monogamous. Like it's not natural. That's why you need to hack nature. Everything good about our world is because we hack nature, electricity, the smartphone that I'm speaking to you on the internet that I'm speaking to you on, um, you know, 
surgeries, hospitals, uh, refrigerated food. Okay, all this stuff is a hack. You know, we have to hack if you like lifestyle design. My my whole brand is like optimizing life, hacking your life, making it as best as possible. Caretza is the hack for monogamy. It's the game genie for monogamy, for the video game of, of monogamy. Okay. Doesn't doesn't mean it's gonna save your relationship, but it's it's the best, it is the best shot. It's the best hack. And it's something that you that you must try and implement, in my opinion. Okay. Sure, you can be you can never be monogamous. There's guys in my industry that say they'll never be monogamous and teach other guys never to be monogamous, but I'd say that's up to you. You can never be monogamous. Um, there are definitely cons that come with monogamy, which you can see outlined in my How to Develop Your Dating Game Plan series, which is a five-part video, audio, and article series. Uh, but there's also pros that come with monogamy that don't come with other types of relationships, like having condom-free sex with someone and not worrying, um, being able to bond with someone and not know that they got banged out by some other guy the night before you're able to bond at a much higher level in my opinion so there are pros to it um understand the pros and the cons if you're considering a monogamous relationship you don't have to be monogamous but even in even if you're having these multiple relationships where you're seeing two or three girls at a time adding the tantric stuff and the non-ejaculation stuff will prolong the period where you can see these girls and if you are in a monogamous relationship right now with a dead bedroom, go to reuniting.info, read Cupid's Poison Arrow, and bring this stuff up with the wife or the girlfriend after you've read it, after you've internalized it, and have that conversation, okay? Because it's a big problem. And this could be a total game changer and, and save your relationship. If you have kids, it could save, um, save your partnership, save your kids from having to go through a separation. And, and bring a lot of joy back into your life. The best experiences I've had in the last 10 years are when I've been on Fenibit with a girl that I love having spiritual sex, hands down.